I see another swarm right here on the ground. Gorgeous looking set of bees, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go and get another hive box, set it up on the ground here, see if we can just get them to, um, to march in real quickly. All right, I've got my hive in place right next to the swarm. The easier you make it for the bees to make that transition, the better. So instead of having them try and manipulate their way over all of these weeds, I'm going to see if I can put a piece of wood right in here. That will give them a nice, easy transition into the box. That looks pretty good. As you can see, some of the bees are already discovering the hive, marching onto the landing board. There are foragers, scouts, uh, measuring the outside dimensions of the box. So this is the point in beekeeper videos where I always say, you know, you don't have enough patience. You need to wait and let the bees work on their own. Uh, I'm tempted to take just a handful of bees and sprinkle them on the landing board. What do you think? Is that a good idea or bad? You can see these bees are slowly starting to make their way into the hive. It's only my impatience with the lateness of the evening that's causing me to sort of force the issue. With this swarm being on the ground, it's much easier for me to try and rehive them. I can take my time and slowly take just a small handful of bees and introduce them to the landing board. I, uh, I don't feel as though I need to drench them in sugar water before I try and shake them down into the box because it seems like a much more natural discovery for them to crawl into the hive for themselves and see that it's a great place to live. You can see them just marching right off of my fingers down into the hive. It smells like home. I put eight frames of drawn comb into the, or I, actually I put six frames of drawn comb into this box and two frames of uh, blank plastic foundation. That is the very first bee I have seen fanning its Nasanoff gland. Do you see this right here? Yeah, so we have, a, we have our first bee saying, hey, welcome home. You can see just the very beginnings of a march taking place here.
you'll notice some of those bees are drowned from water. It was raining earlier today. A decision has been made. Just reaching that golden hour with the sun going down. Wonderful moment watching these bees march into this new hive with just almost no assistance from me whatsoever. I picked up a couple of the leaves that have large numbers of bees on them and I placed them on top of the frames. That's about it. Just about all of the bees are in the box. There's a small contingent left here on the ground. I'm going to take a closer look at them, see if in fact the uh, Queen is inside of them. They are moving so slowly because it's getting it's getting cold out here. I really do want to see them homed. I'm going to slowly try bringing them up up to the landing board. So many of these bees have died on the wet ground. I am I'm really worried about the ability of this hive to, to manage, but I'm sure if we can get some more of these bees off the ground and into the box, it will, uh, it will be okay. I have labeled this one Hive 30, so in one evening we've managed to catch two swarms, put them in boxes 25 and box 30. All right, here's my final video with just a moment or two left on my phone. The bees have almost completely moved into the hive. Uh, I've tried to scoop up a few, but it looks as though there's an enormous number of dead bees here that just didn't make it in the amount of water that they had landed on. But, uh, but I have confidence this hive's gonna make it. There's a, there's a large number of bees in the box. It should be great. So this is number 30. Number 25 from earlier today, that's two swarms one day.